Okay, folks, here we go. The solution. Premiere Pro CC 2017. Yep, we're in July of 2017, and it doesn't seem like Adobe are ever really going to fix this. They're never going to fix this. Even though it's like the elephant in the room. Yeah, there's a lot of elephants in the room with Adobe, but hey, you know, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, here's the fix. If you, like me, come to render and you wonder why Cineform isn't working. <laughs> oh, it, it works. It does work. It's just one hour's worth of footage will take about 40 days to render. I kid you not. Yeah, it's actually so slow that you cannot use it. Now you, like me, will be thinking, well, well, I selected Cineform, why doesn't it work? Well, it kind of works for 1080, and it doesn't work for 4K, and you can find yourself getting into some extreme times. Well, here's the answer. You selected the wrong thing. <laughs> Yeah, it looks pretty obvious, doesn't it? Cineform. Yeah, you'd think it was going to be one of these two. No, it's not. The working one that works just fine. <laughs> ready for this, folks? Are you ready for this? It's under QuickTime, which is now supposed to be defunct and isn't supposed to be part of Premiere anymore because Apple shut down QuickTime, so it shouldn't even be in Premiere. But that aside, you select QuickTime and then you select the preset and go GoPro Cineform YUV or these ones if you need higher but this is the standard you really want and it's the 10-bit YUV Pro GoPro Cineform select that and it will render fast as anything <laughs> so I hope this has saved your life and if it has please write to Adobe and say can you please take out these stupid bloody presets which don't I'm going to say it, sorry about this fucking work thanks very much for watching